Hi there, I hope everything is fine. This is a basic thing, so maybe the advanced people just can skip this. But it's so basic that I need to get it off my head. Uh, it's about organizing scenes and images, etc. And Maya basically does this automatically once you give Maya a hint where you want to plant your project. So this is about projects and here under File you find the project window. And that's what the project window generally looks like. We create a new project and we call the new project TUT for tutorial and it will be placed under Documents Maya Projects which is just fine. And it will contain folders, subfolders called scenes, assets, images, source images and all that. That's all being created automatically. So we can create secondary project locations, but let's just stick to them. And I accept it. And now when I open a scene, I'm in an empty folder basically, because I'm in the project's TUT, in the TUT project. And the scenes are empty because I didn't put anything in here. But of course we can do this, just place a cube here, save that file. Save scene as or save scene, call it cube. It's a student version, that's why I get this message here. And now I want to open the scene and it automatically links me to that TUT project into the scenes folder where the cube MB is. I open it and here we we're back with a cube. Now what do we need pr new projects for? Good question. Here is a house. I'm at turbosquid.com which is providing models paid and free for all kinds of people who are interested in 3D modeling and animation. And since I'm not being paid for this tutorial, I'm not going to pay for this house. So I looked for a free house and this house is free. It was created in Maya 8.5 in June 2008 by iCreate. So iCreate was the person who built this and offers it for free now on TurboSquid. This house with nice textures and we just download it. I did this already. That's what it looks like here. It's a zip file and once you unzip it you see scenes, source images and four other files. So what I did is I dropped this into my scenes folder which is not elegant but that's where I put it. Now let's open the scene. This is my project TUT scenes in that scene folder is now the Curtis Haynes house, the house we've just downloaded from TurboSquid. So I open this and here of course I find source images and scenes. Now I open the building, that's a Maya binary scene, just fine. I open it. And now I get a grey house. I think pressing this icon will ungrey it and make it nicely shaded. But no, it doesn't because for a reason I don't know, the top of the chimney is the only probably shaded colored uh, sub-object here, but uh, basically the whole house is gray. And uh, when I render it using maybe a, a sky dome light, it is still gray. So why is that? Where are the shaders? You can go to this icon here, it opens the hyper shader, which is basically the container of all the shaders here. And you have lots of shaders here, lots of them. Blue ones, brown ones. And I guess the blin number one, that one, is for the roof. So I can middle mouse drag it onto the roof. And yeah, it works. But would I do this for red brick, Tudor wood, white, high building, etc.? This would be really tedious. And there's something wrong with the roof anyway. So what was wrong? Uh, it has to do with the project. So the proper way to do this would have been to create a new project. You go to File 
and set a project. So that is our tut project here with the scenes inside. So let's open this. And here is the Curtis House file again. Let's open this. And now let's define this thing here as our new project. We set it as a new project. And Maya asks us the location tut scenes Curtis Haynes house does not contain a project definition file which is called a workspace.mel. Please select one of the following options. Select another location which I could do now or create default workspace and that's what I'll do. So now everything is ready. All of a sudden all the shaders are in their place and when I render it Maya is thinking about where the source images are, but since they are all in the proper project now, the rendering will be just fine. Well, I hope you can use this in your future work. Bye-bye.